Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I'm High Lord Tamberlane and I'm joined today by my brother Barzan. And we are going to start going through all of the fun bits in the Apocalypse box for Joan of Arc. And we just had to start with this ridiculous, ridiculously heavy monstrosity. Was it the Leviathan? I don't even I don't even know what any of this stuff's called, so we're just gonna make up names, but it's it's the snake tail monster thing. This thing is freaking massive. I don't think it's as big as the devil was, but I mean the fact that I can have a 28 millimeter model still be dwarfed by this thing, I think, you know, if you start looking at these models in terms of just versatility and you want crazy stuff, I think you really can't. I think you go found with. your god lion for King of Death. The lion god, you mean? Hey, you know what? That would be an interesting proxy miniature for the Lion God, now that you mention it. It doesn't have hands and penises all over it, but, you know. It's got a snake for a tail. That's phallic enough. I guess. You can paint them all pink. It's got tentacles. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. It's probably cheaper than the actual Lion God. So, hint, hint, if you guys are in the need of a new proxy uh, Lion God model, here you go. Or your new Giga Lion. Triple Giga Lion. We do have to have at least one 15 millimeter model. You can't even see it on the screen. It's a little blob. We can shoot it. Okay, well your laser burn 15 millimeter guy is about <laughs> just as diminutive as my my Piper tooting his horn there. So he's just gonna toot away. Anyway, so besides the giant beast here, who we're gonna have to get out of the way in a second, we're gonna get this zoomed in hopefully a little bit to see what's in these bags. And you still can't really see our friends there. Our first baggie is full of, I don't know what we've, <laughs> it looks like some kind of a, it's some kind of a demon, demon that is grabbing a knight. Fun. Because why not? I honestly, of all the sets and expansions for this game, this was the one that just thrilled me the most in terms of crazy stuff that you get. Let's see what's in this bag then. This bag looks to be some kind of... More demons. Flying cat demon? I don't know why it reminds me of a cat. Is it a gargoyle? Could be. Our flying demon friends. But I thought the gargoyles were in a different box. They very well could be. As they gang up on our poor defenseless... Horn tutor there. Okay, what's in this next baggie? A big pile of scythe carrying skeletons. Because what else would they carry? I gotta say though, the detail is pretty nice and they're wearing armor. No armored zombies. Armored zombies aren't part of the apocalypse, that's why. And here we have what look to be crazy people. Ah, religious zealots. And he's on the side of the good guys? Indeed they are. Okay, because he does not look it, because but... Because this fabulous thing is their hero. This model's just nuts, despite the fact that the standard bearer doesn't want to come in. You've got a mummified holy man. And some dude chained to him. Three dudes chained to him. They're all chained to him. And uh, that's just fun. Well, this guy isn't. No, never mind. He is. Okay, they're all chained to him. Well, they're probably just there to drag the horse along. The horse is still alive. Yeah, mummified holy men. Okay. What's interesting is, of our religious fanatics, there do seem to be quite a few sculpts included in this bag. You can help me keep this camera in focus. That's the problem with these... I'm trying to find a page to tell you what these things are. You don't need to know. We've got guys with torches and giant bells on their chest. And everybody's wearing hoods. Of course they are. What, you expect your religious zealots to dress normally? No. And wear armor? <laughs> I'm dropping half of them here. I think they are French. <laughs> Aren't they? I don't know what these are. <laughs> so yeah, my, my plan is to use this stuff in games with Frostgrave as well. So, so we've, we've got... These things 
These are devourers. Okay. Hence their giant head. With a mouth. Yep. What about our cat friends? The giant monster, by the way, is the Leviathan. I was right. Okay. Uh, your cat things are gargoyles. I was right. Okay. And the skeletons are... Skeletons. Ah, wasn't sure. But do you know what else is here? Here. The Ark of the Covenant. Of course it is. And that is literally the Ark of the Covenant. Here, let's have the Horsemen of the Apocalypse come and raid it. So these guys are just bonkers as well. Which which horseman is this? I'm trying to find him. And again, funny thing. That is famine. Funny thing is if you are interested in using any of this stuff in 28 millimeter, 30 millimeter games. I mean, like, here, you know who needs to dispel them? This is our Stormcast friend. <laughs> and even then... Here comes war. It's a monkey-headed... I mean, the size of this horse... Honestly, I think... That is pretty much a 28 millimeter figure. If you wanted to somehow hack off the actual rider and use this for a Chaos Lord mount, this, this is a pretty rocking monster horse. And... Again, we'll look at this stuff. Along with the apocalypse... <clears throat> We'll let the Stormcast protect the Ark until Indy gets here. This is Conquest. Of the Planet of the Apes. So I guess we don't get a pestilence. It's got snakes for a tail. Yeah, whatever it's a crazy... Say. Yeah. That's a cool skull. I mean, literally, these look like... I thought they were going to be like tiny, regular... I thought they would be about the same size I was, as everything else. I was not expecting the these are full size 28 millimeters. So if you want to use this stuff in another game, I honestly think you can get away with it without any hitch at all. But probably the most fun figure out of the four horsemen has got to be Death. <laughs> <laughs> he is riding on a flying upside down horse that has a screaming mouth in its chest. In a very I don't think his sight well maybe yeah, his, his sight is kind of bad. Is it supposed to be that low? No. no. He's also bald. And I don't think he's a skeleton. I can't tell. It looks like he's got a steering wheel set as an hourglass. In the, I think the horse is just having fun. It's like, whee! It's like an amusement park ride. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So death can totally go hang out with my night haunts. And to lead your... Forces of the Apocalypse, of course. What Apocalypse would be complete without the Antichrist? With a bent scepter. Oh, it's a shame. I thought he was giving the devil horns. Yeah! No, he's like beckoning for everybody to come forward as he sits on his rock with his rather phallic-looking one that's bent from misuse. You naughty Antichrist, you. Up to no good. He's pretty big, too, so if you want to have him hanging out, and you want the Antichrist, I guess, in your regular tabletop games. If you ever had a need for the Antichrist. I the need table. I need a Antichrist in 30 millimeter. All right, let's go on to the, some of the good guys, the goody two-shoes. Who knows? Well, that's judgment. It's Jesus on a horse. No, he's on a horse on a some kind of crazy storm shooting. Which, interestingly... When they showed the render during the Kickstarter, it was not on that. It was just a regular horse on the ground. I think it's more fun having him floating in the sky like that as he rains judgment. Smite his enemies. Yeah. I can't even fit him. This is Triumph. A majestic unicorn with a crown on the horn. And a dead serpent. And tons and tons of skulls. <laughs> what have you been up to? So if you need a, a bloodthirsty unicorn, again, that's going to fit quite well with your 28mm stuff. Never mind your piddlywink little... Even that Ark of the Covenant would work well at 28mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it really would. And what's funny is our... That is the Holy Relic. The Holy Relic Pope dude with his Torquemada looking Inquisitor dudes. You know, he's, he's in the correct scale. So I'm not sure... I'm not going to complain because I like when they make these big, you know, crazy epic size models. So what else we got there? I the know there's Lamb more. The Lamb of God. The Lamb of God was pretty cool. 
Yes, I, I like the cultist dudes holding up the book for it. Yeah. That's how every church parishioner should look. <laughs> they meld into the book. That's going to be a pain. I think if you wanted to actually paint any kind of crazy text in this book, you're going to have to tear the Lamb of God apart. But I just realized he's got, like, how many legs? At least two. Eight? No. Too many? He's got two on this side. There's four on the ground. He's holding the flag. And then there's two more growing out of his back. Because reasons. Okay. This is... Now, the Lamb of God looks like he's actually more in scale. Than again, he's yeah, got well, he's got the little dudes, cultist dudes. Yeah, to keep him company. Those cultist dudes look a little big, I guess. Maybe not. I don't know. As he tries to light them on fire here with his giant cowbell. I want to say this is one of the archangels. I think that might be Michael. One of the named archangels. I think it was. I'm not seeing it, but it's here somewhere. I really would have liked to have seen what this model's head was that he's standing on top of prior to decapitating it because it has a cool look to it. I like when they do the angels with the multi wings. Well, that would make him a seraphim. I don't remember my numerology or all that stuff. Those are regular angels. Okay, yeah, so you do get some more. No, they're like a special type of angel. No, the regu regular angels. Oh, I thought they were special angels because the regular ones were There crooked. are other named angels. Yeah, um, what else we got in there? I know there's more stuff because we haven't, we haven't made a mess of the table yet here. There's another one. Okay. I don't know which angel that is, but... These are the trumpeters. Angel. How many trumpeters are there? There are two in this box. Okay. And you've got two, 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 four two. of these angels. The ones... I think these are archangels. Let me see. I don't know. It's, that's yeah. We already saw the art. This one, and they're more in scale with the actual models. Maybe if you wanted to make it like a guardian angel or a summon spell, and it might work for that. Undead cavalry. Undead ghost cavalry. Yeah. There we go. When one type of undead cavalry just isn't enough. How many undead ghost guys are there? I like the helmet on this one. Eight. That's pretty cool. And they're on the regular size base. As opposed to the actual cavalry, which is on the larger cavalry base. So the ghost cavalry can, you know, pile in. And I'm thinking I might paint him like his helmet, and then everything else is all, like, ethereal. Only the helmet and the sword remain. Something like that. Now, there's a unit in here called the Damned, and I think that's what the regular mounted one is. Shouldn't we have some more demons somewhere? Probably. Here's regular Undead Cavalry. Oh, this is different than the one we looked at earlier. Ah, the Archangel is Raphael. Okay. Michael, I think, came with the dragon or something. I gotta say, the sculpts are pretty nice. There's a Savat Witch, or Sabbat Witch, I don't know how you pronounce it. Would you like some butter? She is surprisingly not naked, riding on a broom with a knife. I thought they had a naked witch, too. I'm thinking of something else, maybe. Uh, I thought there was one as well. Is there another tray, or...? No, not from this box. I thought there was another tray somewhere. Not that there's not already enough stuff here in front of you guys, so if you are interested in getting the... Apocalypse box. Never mind this sucker. In fact, I just noticed on the damned, there's actually two skeletons yeah. riding. Yeah, there are so two. So one's supporting the other one. Yeah, there are two skeletons on this one. I think if you want to do any kind of war gaming at 15 millimeter with undead, this this box is going to be a must have. And with the reprint Kickstarter coming soon. Another bag right there. Huh? Isn't that another bag? Where? Right there. Did I miss one? No, that's that's the crazy priest dudes, and these are skeletons. Oh. I thought there were some more demons of some sort, bigger oh, demons. There are. Maybe I put them somewhere else. So all this here could be yours too if you go pick up. I am not even. We're not even showing you all the duplicate sculpts or anything too. There's just there's piles of <laughs> figures. Just... 
<laughs> There's so many freaking guys in this box. And if you have a reliquary box or any of the other crazy stuff for this game, and with the new Kickstarter coming for all their Polish Lithuanian pagan gods and who knows what nonsense is going to be in there, uh, you definitely are going to get a lot of bang for your buck. Never mind playing the actual game it's intended for. You can go wild with all this stuff. So hopefully if you're curious about it, I did not know about the horsemen and that's kind of the reason I wanted to film this was to let everybody know that these are quite large models and you can use them in all sorts of games. So hopefully you guys found this helpful and informative and I will put a link to Mythic Games website down below along with a link to the original Kickstarter page if you're curious to look this info up and they'll probably have a link to the new campaign whenever that starts. As of right now, it hasn't when I'm filming this. So with that said, this is High Lord Tamburlaine and Barzam, and we are saying so long. Farewell, Avita Zane. Adieu, adieu, adieu to you and you and you. And we're not going to quote the sound of music ever again. Bye bye.